Good morning. Why on earth am I over here, I hear you ask? Well, I had a very strange idea this morning. I had an idea to use the clock very quietly, you won't hear it in the mix necessarily, uh, on the AND beat of a track I'm writing at 120 beats a minute. And I thought, well, why not use the piano as well? So all I have recorded right now is bass and drums. And what I'm going to attempt to do is put the piano down and get the record counter right on the tube of the clock. So it's got to come in here, and here, and here. So you hear the clock, I'm at the piano. So we're gonna try and go for a take with the clock in it and the piano in it and see what we can come up with. Okay, so now I've got to count using the clock as a marker. One, one, one. see how it fits and if I'll solo the piano track hopefully we'll still hear the clock as well doing its thing. Actually both clocks are in there because uh, the track is still in uh, input mode so what I'll do is I'll play it back and move off of that track. say that pretty much worked. That's it. That's all I wanted to do today. Very simple, very quick, but I hope you find that pointless and fascinating. Oh well, while I'm here, why don't I just give you a little bit of a playtime. There are some Christmas ornaments on the piano which give the piano a kind of rattle. Um, it's kind of interesting actually if you listen to when I play D's and G's. So it's a bit like an old piano with ball bearings, but it's these Christmas tree ornaments on top of it.